Freddie Gray's death in police custody three years ago sparked days of protest in Baltimore. And then, a struggle to rebuild trust between officers and the community. How many people have to die? Now, shocking details have emerged about a deeply corrupt police unit which terrorized the city during this supposed time of reform. The Gun Trace Task Force was an elite unit. Their specific task was to get guns off the street. Today, most of its members have been convicted and are facing decades in prison. This is the story of how the cops became robbers. They preferred a variety of tactics that were very problematic, constitutionally speaking. One of them was called the door pop. These officers would drive their car, gun it toward a group of black males on the corner. Most of the people they stopped were black males. Then they would stop it and see who would run. So if you have an unmarked car coming at you, there are 300 plus murders, you're gonna feel that, oh my goodness, it's probably someone's coming to shoot up the sidewalk. So another tactic that the officers used was something called a sneak and peek. Sneak and peek means getting to a place like a home, a vehicle, and going inside without a warrant. It's an opportunity for the officers to look around, find out if they have what they need for a warrant, and write it up. Uniform cops come in. Well, one of them was talking, the other one was already in the house searching. Take, for example, the story of Javon. She says that after her husband was arrested in 2010, the officers showed up at her front door without a warrant. They come back in and they was like, well, we're going to um, go get a search warrant. So I was like, okay, you already searched a home though. Dope Boy cars are specific makes and models of cars that Sergeant Wayne Jenkins thought were frequently used by drug traffickers. He pulled in front of me and the lights came on. When Andre Crowder was pulled over and arrested, he was driving one of the sergeant's favorite types of Dope Boy cars, an Acura TL. Oh, oh we stopped you because you didn't have a seatbelt on. At the time, I wasn't thinking how did he see I didn't have a seatbelt on? I got tinted windows, you have tinted windows. Finally, on the stand, officers admitted that their sergeant specifically instructed them to carry BB guns in order to plant them on unarmed people. Seizing illegal guns is difficult investigative police work. That is not what these officers were doing. 